Hello fellow Gwent players. I am a little bit hungover from Halloween yesterday. So please excuse the voice and the general demeanor. Um, today we're looking at the changes made by the community. <clears throat> and uh, I want to see if... I mean, I want to judge you or like the choices you've made. Or the Gwent community. Because there's some weird choices in there. Let me t let me say. Um, I've looked at it obviously already, and um, <clears throat> there's some good ones, and there's some really weird ones. Uh, one especially very weird one. So let's just start off with the buffs. Uh, we got Vi going to eight. This is a crazy change because this is not just a one power buff. This is like a ten power buff to the entire Vi strategy. Sasuke Commander. I don't think needed to be four power. I don't, I don't, I don't see a reason why this is four power. I thought this was fine at three, but I guess you guys wanted it. Uh, Unseen Elder, I can see that's fine. Gezras uh, at six is fine. Brathens at four, I find quite interesting. <clears throat> and I'm guessing the reason why Brathens got buffed is because of a lot of other nerf card stuff getting completely nerfed to the ground. Like some of the decks have like four nerfs or five nerfs all in one. With this patch, so yeah, Brothen's definitely um, okay, sort of as a compensation. Uh, I think Brothen's is a fine card. It's gonna be uh, better with, it, it, as I can also see that Arturius also got a power buff. This means something like Practitioners might actually be more common because these are actually very essential to that strategy because you know you want to get as many practitioners and that extra power could definitely make a difference for sure phoenix at five that's something i also voted uh crow mother at five also something i'm a big fan of um it playing as a nine for ten on deploy and then being five carryover is very nice phoenix spam is definitely a thing you can do right now at four this card was just a bit too weak but at 5, I can see it being decent enough. Ruin the same. Ruin, I think, is really, really strong at 4. Um, but I've never seen anyone play Ruin, so maybe this doesn't really make a change. Flying Redania at 4, though, is a massive change. I think this is a crazy good buff for Syndicate. <clears throat> Very interesting stuff. Nithril at 6 makes sense. Black Ryla at 6 makes sense. Vesemir being 4 power, I think, is kind of cute. I actually kind of like that change a little bit. I actually like it a lot. It's a very cute little change that Vesemir does have the highest power of the um, the Witcher trio, so to say. Cleaver's Muscle being six is a pretty good buff. Uh, a lot of cards benefit off of that. Novigradian Justice, Cleaver. Cleaver might be really strong. <laughs> the Cleaver deck might be become really, really powerful because uh, spending four to get six points is very good. So we'll see how that changes the meta. Kedwedi Revenants at four is a bit insane. I didn't I did do the I did discuss the changes in one of my streams. I also wanted to upload it, but I just didn't have the chance to. Um Kedwedi Revenants at four is completely bonkers. I think this is a huge change. Like this card at four provision, four power is kinda nuts. Like that's so crazy to me. But yeah, let's move on to the nurse for the power. Taurus, uh, yeah, this makes sense. Uh, this is just a crazy card. Svalbard makes sense. Sub, sub makes sense. I don't think Angus deserved to be nerfed. Um, but hey, the council has spoken. Uh, the Acherontia is okay. The, the the thing with Acherontia is usually you play it and then uh, yeah, you spend all the money. Anyway, like you use it's like the turn you use it is the turn you use it, right? You're not, you, it does like the card being, it, it could be three power, it still would be the same, but obviously at five power compared to six, it's gonna be a little bit of a big difference. It's a little bit of a difference, but usually you get like two cards out of this if you're playing correct with uh, open sesame. So, yeah, Calvite seven. I don't know if this change is, I mean, Calvite is very crazy in round one just being an eight for ten i guess for what it does so this does slow down nilf guard a lot in round one so i guess i can sort of understand it vanity net six is okay i I'm, that, that that does make sense to me exorid seven is okay uh philippe i don't think 
needed to be nerfed. I think Philippe is fine. Like, why why would you buff like Nithral, Black Ryla, but keep Philip make Philip a five? I don't, I don't get that really. But hey, so so be it. Um, Treyhern, uh, sure, th this card's probably unplayable now. Congrats, I guess. I, I don't think this card was any t like that toxic, honestly. But hey, what can you do? Now, the Sergeant at three is fine. I think this card uh, benefited most off of Slave Driver. The card itself wasn't really that like insane. I mean, it is pretty good because it triggers like Assimilate and it is a 10 in itself. So I guess that is fine. I'm not against the change, but like look at how many Nilf Guard changes there are on here. Like that's crazy to me. Reaver Hunters at 1 is one of the dumbest things I have ever witnessed a community do, a gaming community do. Why would you kill this card? The card, like, Reaver Hunters weren't even, like, tier 1 anymore. I don't think they're even tier 2. Now they're, like, tier nothing. This card is complete garbage now. I don't understand why... What? Why? Why? Uh, I don't know, man. This is this was this was stupid. When I saw this, I was like, "Wait!" So they literally just released this in the way it is, and make made the card. Li they literally killed a card. The balance council literally killed a card. Like, how crazy is that? That's fun. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Uh, Alba Armor Cavalry, I don't think needed the nerf. Like, come on. Why is there so much Nilf Guard in here? This is ridiculous to me. But, hey, people are... Like, how is... How is Tyr not on this list? I'm sorry. How is only one, two Skellige cards on here? I think that is a bit crazy. There's, like, two Skellige cards and, like, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Nilf Guard cards? Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's that's insane to me. But, hey, whatever. Uh, we got Imperial Marine. Okay, this card did deserve a nerf. Eternal Eclipse Deacon did not deserve a nerf. Like, cultists are already, like, dead with the last change that they made. With the um, Rafan ability. So, I don't understand why this card is... Got the nerf hammer there, but whatever. Uprising getting a uh, provision buff is cool. Jackpot getting a provision buff is pretty interesting as well. They even increased the provisions on the freaking... Uh, what's it called? The cultist scenario. Jesus, why? All right, Temple makes sense. I, I think this card is ridiculous. Uh, Ad Admiral Rompoli, um yeah, this is fair, in my opinion. But the, the thing is, though, like, this is one of the nerfs of, like, so many Nilfgaard nerfs. Like, Nilfgaard got completely gutted here. Heist at 12 is kind of okay, I guess. It's all right. Um, Battle Stations at 12 is a change I definitely wanted. Stefan K Skellen to 12. Now, I don't think this was necessary, but it's okay. I I'm not going to hate on it. <clears throat> I don't think Admiral Rompoli needed to get the nerf hammer out of these cards for Nilfgaard. Heist, I've never really played, so I don't really know how polarizing that card is. Also, I think Heist is usually just used in, like, meme decks anyway, so I don't really understand why why they're nerfing a meme card. But, hey, that's just me. Um, Caratrolda, yeah, sure, that makes sense. Uh, Vilgefortz. Vilgefortz is interesting because when you buff... When you nerf something from 9 to 10, it goes out of Golden Necker, even though there never really has been a Nilfgaard Golden Necker outside of, like, the Asire nonsense. But, yeah, I think Vilgefortz being at 10 makes a lot of sense. This card just has the ability of a 10 provision card, realistically. So, yeah, Vilgefortz, I think, at 10 is fine. Sigval at 9 is fine as well. Mutant Generator, I don't know if this really needed a nerf. I, I think a card that literally says... that literally does nothing when it comes down... And I guess then just not, like, doesn't actually play for any points unless you really force it to. I mean, it plays for points in your deck, obviously, but I don't think this card needed to be at 7. Open Sesame at 6 is okay, I think. Um, 
There's a card that comes afterwards, which I think is did not deserve the nerf like this card did. But yeah, this is like 11 coins technically, and, and there's a lot of ways that that um, Syndicate can get to the zero coins. So yeah, Thirsty Dame uh, to six, I don't agree with. I think this card is fine at five provision. It requires a lot of setup. Obviously, the thing that makes it uh, good is the fact that when you play something that gives Doom, for example, like Freya's Blessing, this does proc the Thirsty Dame. So maybe that is sort of on the same level as something like a, a what's it called, a Nekarat, no, not Nekarat, Fletter, or uh, the Messenger of the Sea. So I guess in that sense, it does make sense that she is six provisions, because they did give her a lot of support as well, but I don't know, I'm not sure I, I agree with this being at six provisions. Slave Starver at six still does make sense. <clears throat> this is something I advocated for as well. Bare Knuckle Brawler at 5 makes no sense to me. This card was a 1 for 1 spender. Intimidate Engine, sure. Like, uh, no. I don't, I don't think this card needed to get... Needed to be 5 provisions. I don't, I don't see it. P bit of a silly change to me. Um, Alright. <clears throat> we got a decrease in Imperial Formation, Enslave, and Patricidal Fury. Dude, how many Nilfgaard nerfs are there? It's crazy. Um, but whatever. Vivius Assault <coughs> going down by one and Siege going down by one is a bit crazy to me. Of all the cards, Northern Realms, Amphibious Assault, I don't think needed to be nerfed. But I guess people are playing it now, so. Roach, also, I, I, just, saw, I just saw Roach. I actually didn't notice that the first time I looked at this. Uh, Novigrad down to 11, that's fine to me. Um, they did nerf this card because of all the other stuff being a bit too good. And they kind of got nerfed because of that. Uh, Philavandral to 11 is fine. Philippa is something I have advocated for again, um, but I think she needs to be 10 provisions, funnily enough. Uh, Magic Compass going up to 9, sure. Varina going down to 9 is interesting. Um, <clears throat> Wait, was Magic Compass 10 provisions earlier? Wait, why was Magic Compass 10? That's weird, whatever. Uh, Verena, 9, sure. Roach, 9 is interesting because of Golden Necker, most definitely. This is actually a very relevant change. Pulling the Strills down to 5, I don't think this is going to change. And Dregolarva at 5, though. This is a classic, dude. <clears throat> to anyone who remembers, Dregolarva used to be the best bronze for a long time in this game. Because it was 5 provisions, and it actually had 1 base power. Now it has 2 base power, which I think is quite crazy. And they, and they buffed Reaver Scouts. So you kill the Reaver Hunter, but you buff the... I don't think... Wait, why is Slave Driver 6 and... What? Okay, so now that we're done with this, there's some good things here. But this is a complete mess. And I'm guessing this is sort of like a learning experience. Like, you can't kill a card, first of all. And then you can't make a card that's really, really strong and has the same ability as another card. You can't, you can't buff a card, you know? Like... The Slave Driver getting nerfed in the same patch that Reaver Scouts gets buffed makes very little sense to me, honestly. It really does. So, yeah. So, very the most questionable ones to me are the... the uh, What's it called? The Cultists. The Cultist changes. Bare Knuckle Brawler makes no sense to me. Reaver Hunters is stupid. Uh, I don't think Kedwenny Revenant needed a buff. Honestly, um, good good changes to me are uh, the I don't I okay. By the way, I have no idea how Tear dodged the nerf hammer here. Of all the cards that need a nerf, I think Tear was definitely on top of my list. Tear definitely needed some sort of nerf. Like Tear being nine power is insane to me. So I don't know, man. I think I think. The fact that tier is not on here and a lot of other stuff is just seems like very, very weird. Now, I don't know how to fix this problem, honestly, but <clears throat> yeah, it's, um, oh, I didn't have the mouse the entire time. Oh, that's a problem. Ah, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll you guys know, you guys know the game. You guys know the cards. Um, <laughs> this might be a very weird video, by the way, but I, uh, this is just my opinion on the, on the matter. I think we will learn from this. We should learn from this. Uh, we definitely need to need to put Reaver Hunters back to two in the next patch. That's just like a given slot. That, that otherwise, this is just stupid. This existing as a one power play that literally does nothing. Like, come on, that's that's ridiculous. Um, 
I mean, from the buffs, what is going to be the most um, significant one? I think Clear's Muscle is going to be more significant than I imagine. Uh, I think Vi is very significant as a buff, for sure. Um, Magic Compass going down to 9 could be very relevant. Roach going down to 9 could be very relevant. And even Dragalabras and Scout going down to 5 could be very, very relevant. Everything else is just like... It's going to change. This is going to change the meta for sure. Um, because you're just because Reavers is literally dead, first of all. Um, and a lot of the Nilfgaard stuff uh, got big, 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 big shot down. So, yeah, that's my take on the whole matter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave your dis I want to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. I might join in on some of the discussions that you guys have towards this topic. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, and I'll see you soon. Uh, by the way, yeah, yeah, actually, I need to say this. Um, before I end the video, I know I, I know I just did the outro and everything. Uh, I won't be uploading and streaming as much as I want to because I'm quite busy with some other stuff. I'm also kind of moving out right now. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a lot less content. I will try to upload as much as I can, but... As I just said, it won't be as easy as I want it to be. So keep chill. We're going to be uploading on this channel. I'm not going to be leaving again for like the next month or so. I, I will be uploading less. I'll try and put out some content and you occasionally stream to get out some content. So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon.